So you touched on uh, the workforce, um, you mentioned Factor, there is also a graduate engineer program, trainee technician program um, that's been running since uh, around 2020, 2021. Um, over 80 people would have passed through, some are currently going through those programs. And when you look at that, uh, as well as Factor, Factor being a state-of-the-art simulator um, facility, and you look at Guyana potentially being able to, uh, in a few years, provide uh, specialist type training for persons outside of the country. Suriname recently announced their FID. Trinidad is an oil producer. We're surrounded by uh, countries in the industry. Um, how does SPM see long term factor itself play in that role? We, you know, hope to stay engaged with factor in a way that as we, you know, as we spoke about earlier, we are a continuously learning organization, which means our standards and our ways of working always move forward. It's important that the training facilities we use also reflect the, the current best practices in the industry. And we share, you know, as well with Exxon, they also bring in new ways and new ways we want to manage assets in the future. So uh, we want to be continued to, to provide those practices into such training facilities as they evolve and, and, and the, the output of that will be a, an enabled institution that can always train to the best practices in industry today, which have, will have an international appeal in addition to the, the, the need that is going to have to meet you know, the growth, uh, the growth uh, projections in Guyana because it's significant, just the facilities we're putting in place here. And it's for offshore jobs, but it also uh, could, could apply to many onshore jobs that support the offshore uh, operation or could also easily lend itself to, to other industries like, like the power plants or, or those kinds of facilities that are uh, heavily instrumented, hydrocarbon type or high voltage type facilities. The offshore assets cover all those disciplines that, 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 and, and in a context that is more complex than when you do it offshore. So that training, it could be also relevant to many other industries that will be growing in, in the pace of the economic growth of Guyana. So, so for us, you know, to, to, to generously share our practices into that, that is, uh, uh, it's a great thing. And I think you're going to see over the next few years, it's going to be a fantastic facility that will continue to add facets to the curriculum to, and to be really, uh, for us, a reference facility. We don't have the same uh, in Brazil, for instance. Uh, finally, um, we started out talking about fast forward and how the design one build many concept has really changed advanced, enhanced uh, the operations. Looking at Guyana itself, we are described as the hot spot. Uh, we are the fastest growing economy in the world. Um, this is the central location right now in terms of investment and interest, um, certainly for this region as it relates to oil and gas. But what SBM is doing here in Guyana um, is or, or may be seen as somewhat different uh, to what maybe SBM has done globally um, in terms of projects and so on that the company is pursuing and how it is pursuing those. Um, is Guyana having an impact on SBM's uh, outlook and perspective in terms of how they operate in other locations? I think the pace of the development in Guyana, and this is very much also, you know, driven by uh, by Exxon and how projects have come to investment decisions very fast, coincided with our fast forward program, and and us always wanting to be, you know, anticipating the next prospects. So, so I think the pace setting here has has been an eye opener to to many other countries uh, that may have recently discovered, you know, resources or even countries that are mature, uh, that, that see that there's a different way of doing things that could uh, dramatically you know, improve the, the time between discovery and, and, and uh, first oil, and even how you go from first oil to, let's call it, plateau production. So I think it's been fundamental to SPM. The, coin, you know, the, the fact that Fast Forward and Guyana Discovery coincided, and with the development pace uh, driven by, you know, um, uh, let's call it the field development teams at Exxon and the government of Guyana has allowed that kind of a, a, a 
a perfect combination of parameters coming together that has been very powerful, of course, from a, from a marketing and the positioning of SPM into the other growth markets in the oil and gas and a reference for other companies to say, you know, the traditional way of doing field development, you know, it may be time to look at that uh, and be open-minded to, 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 to change the pace. So for us, you know, we believe in the fast forward because we believe in the product, the FPSO product, we get through that and the, the, the execution certainty and the way we can manage capacity and the way we can do EPC faster than, 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 every, uh, than any of our competitors. But more importantly, it's a, it's a, it's a philosophy that needs to be deployed uh, to a country level and, and, and through, the, uh, through the developing oil company and, and the whole ambition they set around a, a, a pace of development that also would favor you know, the value proposition of SPM. So I think it's been an eye opener and you can see uh, a lot of um, people look to Guyana as a reference for that. So it's, let's say it's, it shook the industry up a bit. I've been Tanjan, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Chris. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.